My name is Kathy Garrett. Um, I'm a registered nurse um, and I had a heart attack. I was 46 years old. It was on May 2nd. I'll never forget it because it was my daughter's 17th birthday. I was getting ready for a trip to Orlando. I was excited. My bags were packed. I was going to a conference and I needed to get some prescriptions to get on the airplane because I wasn't sure you know, what I needed. So I called my doctor's office and he said, um, you know, geez, you know what, we haven't seen you for a while. We should probably um, also schedule your um, annual physical. The next morning I went to the doctor's office and um, during my physical he did an EKG. And it was kind of interesting because the EKG, um, he had the little, the, one of the old fashioned EKGs with the suction cups on and he kept coming in and out of the room. And finally, about four times coming in and out of the room, he said to me, um, uh, you know, we're just checking everything. And I said, is everything okay? Because I felt like something wasn't. And he said, well, I think you're having a heart attack. And I, I can hear him saying that right now. I couldn't believe that he said that. Because first I thought he was kidding because I looked at him. Um, then I realized he wasn't kidding and I said, well, what makes you think I'm having a heart attack? What's going on? And he said, well, you have no R waves in your EKG. And of course, I'm still thinking, well, find them. Where are they? So I started to go into this denial process um, and everything stood still. I was admitted to the hospital and I got the news that I had a heart attack. Being a nurse for over 30 years, when I was taught about a heart attack, um, I was taught that you had this terrible chest pain, um, you had this, this pain going down your arm, you had it going to your jaw. Um, I didn't have any of that. Um, but now that I think about it, I think about how I felt prior to that doctor's appointment and I actually had symptoms of a heart attack. Being a woman, very different, very different than a man. Um, but I had an excuse for everything because I was too busy. I had back pain, which I attributed to, um, we have horses, so we muck stalls. So I figured I probably pulled my back mucking a stall. I had um, indigestion, but I blame the indigestion on my back. I was very, very tired all the time. I ran out of gas, um, I ached all over. Um, I just, I didn't feel well, but I just never thought it was a heart attack. The signs were all there, but I was too busy to really pay attention to them. My whole life has been about caregiving, so I'm much better at caring for everybody else than I am for myself. Um, so this really, truly opened my eyes and made me take a look at um, what my life was like, what was I doing. But I'm here to tell you, you don't have to have a heart attack to realize what's important in life. There are things in my life that I can change. There are things in our lives that, that we can change. Um, I can't change that I'm a woman. I can't change my heredity. Um, but I can certainly change those numbers by what I eat. We as women have to pay attention to the things that, are, to our body, to our, what our body is telling us. If your blood pressure is high, your body is telling you something. You can't control all of the stress that's around you, but you can control how you deal with that stress. And that's what I focus on. I can't believe in eight weeks I'm gonna be 50. I have to tell you, I am thrilled to be turning 50 because there's a reason why I'm here.